Welcome back everybody, Darren here, Fuzzy Dice Motors for another dealer auction walk around and happy fall. This is the second day of fall and it certainly looks like it. Much, much cooler temperatures today. It is very overcast. I think we have rain all around us. So if the video gets cut short due to rain, well, my apologies for that going forward. Um, as far as the updates, the little uh, yellow SSR, I'm not for sure what that sold for actually. And as far as anything else of interest from last week's auction, I don't remember anything really that I can remember that grabs my attention. But with all that, let's go ahead and let's take a walk around and see what we have uh, up here this week. All right, first up, um, I saw this one online, 2010 Alexis. I think it's an ES320 uh, or something like that. Uh, I'll investigate it a little bit further. And uh, online with the pictures, this looks like a very, very nice car. I think it's got like 153,000 miles. But when you get up here in person, this car is actually pretty rough. The headlights are faded. Uh, the paint um, is not in great shape. Uh, I mean, it's, I know it's a 2010, but this this was this was not in the garage. Uh, there are rock chips all over, so the paint is faded. There's a small dent there on the hood. We've got not so good looking tires. Uh, it's just, um, it's an overall fairly rough condition. And uh, this would probably, for me, would be kind of a hard sell. Uh, we have damage all the way across the back bumper. And then the interior, um, I already said it and I cheated and jumped in here before you I turned the camera on we've got strange uh, covers on the seats terribly stained um, carpets yeah I don't know why you would not have put some kind of a beige or tan seat covers in here uh, the car is it's definitely dirty terrible fade right here you open the door this is a dirty the uh, steering wheel simulator days and the dash pad is very, very, very rough. I started the car, it started just fine. Uh, the en engine sounded great. Of course, it's the Lexus, only 153 on the odometer. And what was this again? I already forgot. It's the ES something, uh, ES3350. So it has a 3.5 uh, V6. But man, I tell you, the camera lies. This camera is no different. It's probably looking like it's phenomenal. And uh, and and it is not. Uh, it is not. Um, the MMR is like around five grand or so for this car. And just cosmetics inside and out yeah um i wouldn't i wouldn't go five grand on this nope uh, again it's a lexus low miles for 2010 i guess you're probably gonna get in this thing after you put some new tires on it probably go around the world in it trouble free but um just from the cosmetics of the exterior and the interior i'm gonna go ahead and look for something different Okay, you might ask yourself, why are you showing a 2011 Nissan Altima Coupe with 168,000 miles on it? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it's what it could be. What it could be and it isn't. You may or may not be aware, but some of these older Altimas, the Coupes, actually were available in a 3.5 liter V6, the same as the Maxima has. Also, of course, you know, a little bit different variant to the 350Z. However, these also, you could have got this with a rear spoiler, which makes the car look a lot better and sportier. And also, these were available in a manual transmission. So, just imagine, if you will, this same car with a 3.5 liter rear spoiler and a manual transmission. You would have had, like, sort of a... Uh, Infinity, what, G, what was it, a G something, G35? Uh, and then later the upgraded to, to the uh, G37 because upgraded the motor to a 3.7 over the 3.5. But 
but yeah um if i would have ever come across a nissan ultima coupe with a 3.5 and a manual transmission that would be a fun little car however this only checks one box with it being a coupe and of course this is a 2011 so underneath that car is the wonderful <sighs> nissan cvt transmission moving on you know i actually think this is a good looking car this is a mazda and i've always been a fan of mazdas i, I think mazdas make good vehicles this, this is a 2014 mazda 6 but i think uh what is it 151,000 miles we got clear headlights um looks to be in good condition i'm not noticing any major dents or dings or paint chips Uh, it's not too big it's not too small just like the the porridge huh goldilocks this was just right uh but anyway yeah i think this is a good looking little four-door sedan uh it's got decent decent looking wheels on it i'm sure those are factory wheels the tires look pretty good you know i'm probably gonna drive this i don't know if i've ever driven a mazda 6 so today's the day yeah um got the nice little tan i would say leather but we all know it's not leather it's going to be vinyl interior which is an upgrade over the cloth which you guys can debate down below which is better cloth or vinyl slash leather or pleather or whatever seats are in good shape nice little sporty red Pin striping on the console with the seat boister and the uh, uh, armrests here. So let's go ahead and hop in here without hitting the vehicle next to us. You know, I think Mazda always does a pretty good job on their interiors. As you see, it's, dare I use the word premium, or at least upgraded. It's not a generic, uh, you know, chintzy interior. Close this door. We got a window here that works. We have the back window that works. Swing it around, and we're gonna see if that works. It does. Windows appear to be tinted. Okay, all the windows work. Our high beam headlights are on for some reason. Okay, they're not now. Let's see if we can figure out the HVAC controls here. Uh, oh, okay. Aha. You've gotta be smarter than the controls on the car. So this is gonna control your uh, little infotainment screen. That might be blowing a little hard. There we go. Um, so yeah, I definitely think we're gonna drive this. We got some little things here, you know, home link or what have you, but maybe a GPS. Uh, we got a lot of controls here on the steering wheel, all kinds of stuff for your radio, your cruise. So let me go ahead and um, put on a seatbelt. We're gonna we're gonna drive this car here, and it looks like we almost have a full tank of gas. So I mean, right there, you're getting some your your money back, sort of. All right, we're ready to go. Let's check out. Let's try out this Skyactiv technology. Does anyone know what Skyactiv technology is? I, I've, I've never talked to anybody that knows what Mazda Skyactiv technology is. Is it just like variable t valve timing? I know, you know, I'm supposed to be the car guy and I'm supposed to know, but, you know, I, I can't know everything. And honestly, I've never researched it. So if anyone wants to comment down below what Skyactiv technology is, be my guest. Here's some cars lined up over here. We're going to do our brake check. Okay, 
We've got breaks, but uh, I was expecting better. Okay. Yeah, we've got breaks. The AC seems to be working very well. Let's see, are we peppy? Yeah. Yeah, it's peppy, and it's got a little bit of a of a raspy sound to the exhaust. Oh, that's look at this! Look at this! We're getting new pavement. That's why everything is the way. I don't know if I should go over there. Uh, man, I don't want to go over there if I'm not supposed to. I don't want to get in trouble and get thrown out. So we'll just go this way. The car, the car drives well. It really does. It, it drives well. Um, it handles well. It feels like a sturdy, stable car. I'm going to have to find someone that works here and see if we're able to drive up yonder. Because uh, I do not want to get them screaming at me. Hey, you're driving over our new pavement. Burp -a -derp. There are no check engine lights on the dash. Let that be said right now. I have no idea where I got this because I wasn't paying any attention. So that's there's some honesty for you. So I'm going to figure out what this number is on the window, <laughs> windshield here. And I'm going to get this car put back where I got it. So here is a 2011 Mustang GT with, uh, with some pretty, in my opinion, questionable wheels. I'm no fan of black wheels. I've made that abundantly clear on here. But why I'm showing you a 2011 Mustang GT is because it's very interesting. Up until 2010, the Mustangs had the 4.6. One year later, this is the manual transmission, they upgraded to your 5.0. And the horsepower bump was, let's just say, significant. Very significant. And it changed the car completely. And it was such a huge transition, transformation, such a huge difference from the 2010. You had buyers outraged, absolutely outraged, to the point to where I think this has 102,000 miles on it. I'm not for sure if it was some, a couple of people, or some people, let's just put it that way, some people actually were trying to sue Ford because they just felt for some reason they had been duped or betrayed. You know, your salesperson, your company, you know, they're wanting to get rid of the 2010s. So, you know, they're pushing 2010s, you know, they're getting ready to go to uh, a new motor, you know, a body style upgrade. And so, you know, they're pushing them, giving you incentives and, you know, lowering the price. And, and you know, just like a week later, here's the 2011 shows up with the five liter, you know, the Coyote motor, which is just, it's a huge difference. But uh, yeah, um, go ahead, do your own research and see. Uh, there was so <laughs> much uh, negative feedback from people who had thought they had been duped. But I mean, if you think about it, you know, that's just the nature of how you manufacture cars. You have an upgrade, you know, you change your styling, you change your engines. But I thought some someone out there might find that story interesting. But this one, as you can see, uh, it is not out on the lot yet. It's in here, we're getting the pictures taken of it and information put into their system and also their website. So we'll go ahead and find something else to look at. Yes, yes, honorable mention. Here is the, uh, the Sierra. If you guys have not seen it in my previous videos, please go look at the previous videos where I do a whole video dedicated to this truck, this uh, nice GMC Sierra truck. 
It's still up here for sale. I guess the person is not getting what they want for it. And we're not going to spend any more time on it. We're not going to repeat ourselves. Yeah, this Tesla here, it has taken a little uh, punch to the face. It's tore up the headlight. Um, this is hanging out. Front bumper's coming off. Uh, it's being it's being charged, so I guess it's for sale, but I don't see any uh, stickers on it. White interior. White interior, that's always, uh, I tell you what, you're, you're rolling the dice with white interior. That is for sure. Um, just the normal oils from your hands will stain that white interior. Looks great when it's clean and it's brand new, but uh, you are a gambling person, that's for sure. Moving on. You know... This may be another one of those quicker than normal videos. There's nothing that's really grabbing my attention. The uh, If I try to make a bid or place a bid on any of these vehicles, it's going to be that Mazda 6. If a person could get that for five grand right, right on the nose, you'd do pretty good. I need to go do some more research and see what they're selling for at retail vic, uh, retail lots. Yeah, they got all the vehicles all shoved down to that one end because they are resurfacing the lot, which, you know, it needed it. So it's good to see someone putting money back into their business. All right. I'll come back if I find anything interesting. Well, nothing interesting so far. And uh, the skies are looking more and more threatening. Every time I walk by these trees, I get attacked by a bunch of psychotic birds. Maybe this time I won't. not real enthusiastic about the options now as i've said before folks and uh this is why this auction's always but i've been coming up here since like 2017 maybe actually before i think yeah probably earlier than 2017 or 2016 and uh the really over the top cool cars if there's going to be any they always come in a little bit late like after five o'clock in the evening and cars are going to show up here all night long they'll even be coming in at seven o'clock eight o'clock in the morning before the auction even starts you'll have more cars come into the auction and go through and uh so yeah you know you might have some amazing car come through at 10 o'clock at night and you know you won't you won't know it unless you're checking out the uh the website late at night or you're up here tomorrow morning around you know seven eight o'clock in the morning all right a very interesting car a 2013 mini cooper coupe john cooper works forty five thousand miles on it um this is like the smallest mini cooper it was like the sportiest mini cooper it has the backwards facing baseball cap design um but man we have some damage part of the grill here is missing this front splitter is tore up only forty-five thousand miles it says i actually got in it yeah i cheated i started it you could smell the exhaust the exhaust did not smell well and for some reason you get a john cooper works which okay i'll show you this here this is, that's, that's kind of cool Look. um advertising something up there probably a performance part even though it's already a john cooper works top of the line you don't need any more performance parts on the car but hey it's your car but as we mentioned last week um you open this up which the interior is just all you know as cool as it can be uh i love these uh metal accents on the dash 
you look over there and it's a it's an automatic an automatic and a john cooper a john cooper works mini cooper coupe uh see this tore up it's also out of gas i started it and it smelled not very good um let me show you what i mean about the interior with the metal stuff hey, you know what i i was in here earlier i'll show you guys around Got the John Cooper works on the steering wheel. Got the carbon fiber here. I love this metal. Uh, you know, Mini's known for their cool, quirky, different interiors. Look at this. This up here, these are all, of course, the Mini toggle switches. You have a toggle switch down here for your infotainment stuff. Buttons down here. Uh, more toggle switches down here. You have your interesting key, which is the the puck. You insert said puck uh, in here or this way, or, you know, I just had a, there we go. Then you hit this, hit the start button. So we got our mini thing here going on. It's, bur it's burping at us, it's telling us there's no gas in it. Here is our HVAC, which is cool. Here's our TAC. Of course, here's our gigantic speedometer. Uh, accept. Okay, we've accepted. And by the way, yeah, the car the car does not smell good. It's the, the exhaust stinks. Uh, paddle shifters here. So, the seat over here is tore up, which is sad. Um, just a really interesting strange quirky vehicle which you know i love that kind of stuff i'll go ahead and go outside here i'll raise the uh the hood on this this will probably be the last vehicle i guess this is your uh cd player right there go ahead and turn this off we'll take out the puck and i will show you underneath the bonnet because it's british well all right guys i gave it my best shot i could not find the hood release on the little car uh i know on mine i actually had a 2005 mini cooper s way way back when and uh the hood latch was in a strange location around the headlight i do not know where this one is i'd love to show you the little turbo engine uh under there and see the little john cooper works insignias if you know where it is go ahead and comment down below if you've owned one of these before all I did was get my hand extremely dirty. So now if I get into another vehicle, I will ruin the interior. So I'm going to go inside and get this off my hand so I don't ruin anybody's interior. Yes, you guessed it. I'm sitting in my car, so you know I'm ready to go ahead and get out of here. Didn't see too awfully much this week. Uh, the Mazda 6, I think, is probably uh, the pick of the litter. But that's just me. Let me know what you think, guys, down below. Uh, if you like what we see, please, if you would, go ahead and like and comment and subscribe. Uh, we're on TikTok now. Also, we're on Instagram, Rumble, YouTube, Facebook as well. Every place that there is to be just about, yeah, we're there. If you want to contact us directly, please go ahead and feel free at fuzzydicemotors at gmail.com. And as always, folks, better cars, best prices. It's fuzzy dice or no dice.